What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome to a video. Oh my god. PETA. PETA. You are a fucking piece of shit. Okay, so... I was on Twitter, right, you know, just looking around for stuff and trying to see if anybody replied to my shit, <laughs> and I saw something which someone posted a couple days ago about this. Now, this can't be real, can it? This can't it be a thing, right? Via. People for the ethical treatment of animals. This can't be real, right? It is. It's fucking real. And they have video proof. Right? PETA involved in stolen dog investigation. Alright, so here's the headline and the story. PETA reportedly steals and kills a family dog. Okay, so they steal a dog and they kill it. That would be bad on its own, right? It would be horrible. But it really pisses me off the most. Because once you take a look at the dog breed. The breed of a dog that has been stolen and killed. This really fucking pisses me off. If it was any other dog, yeah, I'd be fucking pissed. But seeing that it's a certain dog breed that I love so much. That I want one. I've always wanted one since the goddamn day I was fucking born. It makes it a billion times worse for me anyway, and for other fans of this dog breed. And I will, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, because, you know, it'll fucking tell you. PETA, oh, it already says so? Okay, yeah, Chihuahua. I am a hardcore fan of Chihuahuas. I fucking love them. I want one. I need one. As a Chihuahua fan, I've never had a Chihuahua. That's fucked up, right? I never had a chihuahua, and I am a chihuahua fucking master, okay? I love chihuahuas. And this is why I hate PETA. This is why you should never, ever support PETA. Let's get, with, let's get on with the story. So PETA reportedly stole a family's pet chihuahua from their porch and killed it. Yeah, you heard that right. Yes, we're talking about that PETA and, you know, people for the ethical treatment of animals the theft was caught on video and has been reported by wavy.com, local media, blah, blah, blah. So, let's see. Uh, that's 2 minutes and 26 seconds. I'll just wait for it to kind of load, I guess. Oh, we got people. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of watching this guy. That's walking, yeah, whatever. So... Can you already show the surveillance footage? Can you fucking... I want to see the actual... Uh... Thing. Just show it. Hey, you know, fuck it. <laughs> uh, okay, so the county sheriff Todd Godwin insists that he charge the two Peter workers with larceny. The prosecutor, who has apparently refused to pursue the case, however, claim, uh, citing insufficient evidence of criminal intent. How the fuck is that not criminal intent? Someone stole the goddamn dog and killed it. They stole a dog and they killed it. How the fuck? Fuck is that not criminal intent? And this is not only why I hate PETA, but and, and why you shouldn't support them, but why I hate the world we're living in right now. Because you can apparently fucking kill dogs and get away with it. Okay? If you are a major corporation like PETA or the ASPCA or anything like that, if you're a major corporation dealing with animals and shit, 
you can get away with this. You can basically get away with murder. And thievery. And breaking and entering. I mean, I don't know if it was actually... At least I didn't, like, break into the house. They went on the porch and took the dog. But it's still basically going onto someone's property for basically no reason other than to do this. Let's try to comprehend this. We have a home surveillance video clearly demonstrating that a van marked PETA pulled up to the house of Wilbur Serrate, 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 whatever, and that someone took the family's chihuahua, Maya. PETA has reportedly admitted that Maya was killed. No. Okay, I never trusted PETA in the first place, okay? First off, they want to change some sayings that have been around since whatever, you know, like killing two birds with one stone, beating a dead horse, or whatever, you know, those kind of sayings. They want to change that. Which make to things that don't make any sense. That's not bad, right? That's just them being fucking idiots. Well, they've done this before. They have actually done this before. They've actually killed animals before. And this is the worst part. As an animal lover, as a person that loves animals, that uh, that loves whatever, you know, that, that is all supportive of this kind of shit, that supports animal rights and and should basically make animal cruelty and shit like that, animal abuse, basically, uh, I, I, I think, you know, if you beat the fuck out of an animal, if you stab an animal, if you shoot an animal, if you kill it in any way or harm it, you should have that same shit done to you. If you stab a dog, or you shoot a dog, you stab a cat, shoot a cat, step on the cat's tail, you know, do something knowingly, you should have that same shit done to you. And if you... If, I mean, so if, if PETA steals animals and kills them, they should be kidnapped and killed as well. Only suiting... They've done it before. Blah, blah, blah. And they arrive later with a basket of fruit as co A basket of fruit as compensation. Okay, okay, you know what? Why did you think that was a good idea? Why the fuck would you think that was a good idea to get a basket of fruit as con- That doesn't make any sense. Get first off, you know, they, they, they don't want your fruit. They want their dog back. They, they, dead or alive, I mean, if you did kill it, they at least want to bury it and acknowledge that it exists and, and, and other shit. They, they want to honor it and they want to basically, you know, just, whatever, but a, a basket of fruit? Are you fucking... Well, how the fuck does that make any sense? Did the chihuahua love fruit? No. I mean, it might have. I mean, dogs will fucking eat anything. But, I don't fucking believe this, and yet I'm seeing it with my own eyeballs. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking looking at it. I'm just like, what the fuck? Why the fuck? Who the fuck? When the fuck? I, I, I don't get it. This is fucking bullshit, okay? I don't get I, I just don't understand how this hasn't shut down PETA yet. How this hasn't... How they can just walk free. They can just be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I killed a dog, I killed a cat, whatever, who cares? Oh, well, you know. Meanwhile, the, most of us that look at this, we're like... Fuck you, PETA. Anybody from PETA that's actually watching this video, if you are, fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. And you can't just go around saying, oh, that was only one or two of our guys. Not everyone at PETA thinks the same way. Oh, yeah? Well, wait until I get further down the fucking article. Because, uh, you're gonna eat those fucking words. And you... <laughs> You better have a good comeback, because you ain't getting out of this one. 
says my other for some bizarre reason PETA thinks that a nice basket of, f of food makes killing pets okay I mean, I mean, and, and you know if it was food you know why would you you know why would you have fruit why not you know some sort of meat or you know have some sort of chips or something I don't know why fruit okay you know here's what I'm thinking if you Stole the dog and killed the dog, right? If you did that, you should pay them. Pay the family and the owners the exact amount, maybe a little bit more. How much did that dog cost? How much did that chihuahua cost? All right, because I, mean, for what I've seen at animal shelters and shit, chihuahuas aren't cheap. Those kind of dog breeds are not cheap. And. So, I mean, so just, like, fucking, just pay them. Either give them another chihuahua, give them another dog, or pay them the money so they can buy another dog themselves. I guess mean, that's what I would do. I'd be like, oh, yeah, your, your, your dog died, whatever. Here, here's some money to get a new one or some shit, you know. And, and this is Peter's fault. It's not the owner's fault. It's not... Anybody else's fault other than PETA. It's their fault. They're the ones to blame. And hence we have we have what we are told is pretty strong evidence that a crime was committed. Fuck yeah. If you have goddamn video footage of the damn thing happening and whatever and you know, if they've also had a history, which again we'll get into later on, yeah, that's fucking that that's like the strongest evidence ever. You know, an admission of guilt has been alleged. What part of the notion criminal intent am I missing here? Uh, we also seem to have powerful evidence that the girl who owned Maya is inconsolable. Oh, shit. The Mexican immigrant said the tiny dog had been the only thing that cheered his daughter who was having difficulty adjusting to her new country. Okay. So, I don't know if this was just random. If this was like, oh... Okay, I see a chihuahua, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to kill it. Or, if they knew that these people were immigrants. And, oh, you're, you're Mexican. Oh, okay, you got a chihuahua. That's cool. I'm going to fucking steal it and I'll kill it. Okay, I'm going to kill that chihuahua. Because you're Mexican. I think, that's, I think that's why I did it. I think that's why they did it. That's why... This specific area. I mean, I, I don't don't quote me on this, but th this is just my theory. And seeing as how this world works and other things, I personally think they did it because of a race issue and it, an immigration issue. Oh, you're Mexican. Allow me to steal something and kill something of yours, because I don't like your. Ra I mean, that's that's how this world pretty much works. I mean. I wouldn't be fucking surprised if that was the case. I would not be surprised at all. And if that's the case, if you can't get them for animal abuse and cruelty and shut that shit down, you can shut them down for being racist and offensive towards these kind of people. So, I mean, either way you look at it, these people, these so-called people for the ethical uh, treatment of animals, I think, is that what it's actually called? I forgot already. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, ethical treatment of animals. Uh, people like this, they should be dead. The whole corporation should be dead. You know, now, I'm, I'm not... I don't agree with terrorism at all. However, I think any and all buildings of PETA should be burned down forcefully. You know, because these people are doing these things, and they are basically just like, whatever. You know, we don't care because we're a major corporation. We don't have to care about your needs. We don't have to care about your dogs. We can steal and kill as many animals as we want. You know, we don't care. And also, these people don't seem to understand the idea that, A... Killing is wrong, right? And they, and on their Twitter, almost every single day, I see something from them saying, 
killing cows is wrong. You shouldn't be eating meat. Okay, first off, you need meat. Meat is on one of the parts of the fucking food pyramid. So without meat, what the fuck is there? Okay, but what the fuck are you going to eat? In addition, you know, if you want to go vegan or vegetarian, do it. Don't try to force others to do the same. I'm not giving up food. I'm not giving up bacon. I'm not giving up hamburger. I'm not giving up anything. I'm not giving up pork or any sort of meat. I'm not giving up chicken. I'm not giving up fish. I'm not giving up anything like that. Just because some bullshit organ of fuckingization decides to say, Oh, hey, maybe you should stop doing this. Maybe you should stop doing that. I know what I'm doing. I know that if I go to McDonald's or Wendy's or somewhere, I know that cows are being slaughtered to bring us the food that we eat. I know that. And yet, I love McDonald's. Fuck. I'd pay... If I had a billion dollars, I'd pay... I mean, I'd pay the majority of it to McDonald's. I'd pay a lot for video games and stuff, but... You know, because I want them to keep doing what they're doing. Now, there might be other ways to get our burgers and shit, but... I don't care. Meat is meat. Deal with it, PETA. And, and this is a chihuahua. Oh my god, it's so adorable. I love chihuahuas. And to see that this happens to such a cute little dog... Pisses me off more than anything. It makes me want to fucking... It makes me want to find these people. You know, it makes me want to go and find... Who did this. And beat the shit right out of them. I don't, I don't want to kill them. I want to torture them. Because, I mean, pretty much that's what they're doing. They're, they're stealing dogs and they're killing them. And also, they're doing it just because. And, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they're torturing animals as well. So maybe they need to be fucking tortured. They need they, they need to be taught a fucking lesson and then some. PETA has refused to comment. Yeah, I wonder fucking why. Local reporter, blah, 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 has tried brilliantly to elicit a statement from PETA headquarters in Norfolk, uh, Norfolk, yeah, Norfolk, fu fuck, Norfolk, uh, Virginia, and has thus far had no luck. It's hard to believe, but people for the blah, 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 you know, ethical treatment of animals has a long history of this kind of abuse. Yeah. A long history of abuse. Yeah. Remember how I said, you know, sure, you could chalk it up to one thing, whatever, and it's a one-time thing? Well, you, you get ready to fucking eat your words, PETA, because this, right here, people for the ethical treatment of animals has a long history of this kind of abuse, and it's documented as well. So this is why you should not support PETA if you do. Don't support this organization. Because if you do, you are basically supporting an organization that goes against what they're trying to say. You know, oh, don't kill animals. You know, animals have feelings too and all that good shit. You know, they're trying to preach that. But they themselves are doing this. They themselves are lying. They're and stealing dogs and killing them. And other animals too. And these people, they falsely, I mean, I don't know if they really do this, but it, again, wouldn't surprise me. They would, they, they would, they, they would probably be the kind of people to falsely accuse someone else of abuse just to take the dog away and kill it or kill a cat or whatever. Shocking photos. PETA's secret slaughter of kittens and puppies. Even more difficult to believe is that they actually tend to get away with it. Yeah, they do. In 2005, PETA employees killed numerous healthy dogs and cats in the back of their van. And deposited the bodies in a dumpster behind them all. Again, you could always say, oh, it's one or two people. Yeah, well, look at this shit, okay? Look at all this bullshit. You're telling me. It's a coincidence. Okay, first off, killing all these animals and shit, that's wrong as it is. You know, if they're healthy and they're not going to die from some infection or whatever, no need to kill them. No need to even hurt them. And secondly, deposited the bodies in a dumpster by them all. That's basically... Uh, I, think it's that, I think it's another... Uh, 
what's the word another another wrong thing to do it's basically uh what's the word i'm looking for basically it's not treating a corpse properly right like you don't just throw a fucking dead body in a fucking dumpster you bury that shit you know when you're all done with whatever it is you bury that shit you don't throw it in a fucking dumpster behind them all or anywhere you don't put it in a trash can you don't fucking do that that's basically mishandling of a corpse that could potentially be another charge i'm not sure Seems like I can get charged with everything nowadays. Even more difficult, blah, blah, blah. They were charged with 21 felony counts each, each of animal cruelty, but were convicted only of littering. Something is not right here. Definitely not. The littering conviction was later overturned. PETA has very good lawyers. Essentially, the littering charges against Adria Hinkle and Andrew Cook were overturned because the prosecution failed to prove that a dumpster is not the proper place for trash. I, I, I got a fucking problem with that, actually. I mean, yeah, just because if something is dead, it's basically trash. It's dead. But you don't have to wear it like that. You, you shouldn't fucking wear it like that. Like... You should have said something like, uh, a dumpster is not the proper place to handle uh, dead pets or relatives, okay? Or anything like that. You, you Just because pets are dead, just because animals are dead, doesn't make them trash. Okay? This whole thing's fucking bullshit. It really is. Since then, PETA has been careful to dispose of bodies legal. <sighs> fucking god fucking damn it. What the fucking shit? Oh, fuck this. This is not right. This is just so not fucking right. Since then, PETA has been careful to dispose of bodies legally using a professional crematorium. They have killed over 29,000 animals. But they are not being careful enough, it seems, when it comes to rounding up neighborhood animals. PETA are keen on eradicating strays. Strays? Well, thank fuck I saved my cat when I did. <laughs> In particular, they urge the mass killing of feral cats. But they do not have permission to grab a family's pet dog from their home. Clearly, they did not expect that the Serrate House, uh, or Serrate, I don't know, uh, would have a surveillance camera. What you can do. Uh, let me, let me, let me tell you what you can fucking do. Stop. Just stop everything. If you thought about donating money to PETA, don't. If you're thinking about supporting PETA, don't. If you're thinking about, oh, PETA's not that bad, well, look at this fucking article. This article right here, it's fucking proof that PETA is a piece of fucking shit. PETA sucks ass. They really do. What you can do, PETA would prefer that people not keep animals for their amusement. If you personally find this unacceptable, however, they alleged theft and destruction of a family dog, then please let the local prosecutor know how you feel. Yes, PETA has a huge budget and powerful lawyers, but public outrage can be effective. I mean, considering I'm not in... Uh, Virginia or wherever the fuck this place, uh, this takes place. That's probably not gonna do me much good. But seeing as this is trending, I guess, on- This was trending on- Oh, yeah! Uh, I just realized. Uh, yesterday or two days ago, there was actually a trending topic on Twitter called PETA. I didn't click on it because I figured it'd be some bullshit. 
But I probably should have. I probably should have uh, just did it. I should have been like, okay. Because this is not right. And if you really want to, there it is. There's uh, the number you can call, I guess, and the, the email. Don't spam the guy, okay? Don't spam him at all. If you really do have a problem with this and you find it unacceptable, which I fucking do, there's all the information you need. Now, normally I'd be like, don't. I, I would probably stray away from uh, doing articles like this because you know whatever. But this, I think, is a, in a is a case where it's perfect, right? Like you should be doing this. You should uh, take Peter down. Hashtag take Peter down. Hashtag destroy Peter. Hell fuck. Hashtag euthanize Peter. Stop them from doing this shit. You can also make your displeasure or yeah known to the blah blah. blah. Uh, Sam Simon, co-creator of The Simpsons. Should I save my cat from just getting killed? Um, currently fighting cancer, I just announced that he's leaving a substantial portion. Uh oh. Oh shit. Yeah, I can definitely fucking see why. Uh, it's now that he's leaving a substantial portion of his $100 million fortune to PETA. Don't. Okay, Simon. I'm sorry, I, I highly doubt you're watching this, but if you are watching this, don't. Do not give your money to PETA. Do not support PETA. If you support PETA, you are an animal abuser. You support this kind of bullshit. You support this kind of horrible atrocity that they're doing. You support euthanizing of innocent animals that are not sick or injured. You support basically all the wrong things if you support PETA. And if you really want to support animals, there's the SPCA. I don't know if they've done anything bad. I mean, they... I, I don't know. But it can't be as bad as these people. You can't. You just fucking can't. Again, hashtag bring Pia down. That needs to be trending on Twitter. And all over the place. You know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, whatever. This needs to be fucking trending. Anywhere. That has trending. Because this is not right. Peter should not be doing this. And they know it. They know that they're basically caught now. There's nothing you can do, PETA. Hire all the lawyers you want. If inevitably, you're going to get fucked. Inevit uh, inevitably, you will run out of time, money, and everything. And soon, your corporation will come crumbling down piece by piece. And this is all your fault. What you just did is your fault. And all the other documented cases that have happened are also your fault. You, I, it, it's a fucking, it, it's a shame, to be quite honest. Yeah, I, I hate PETA. I always really never liked PETA. But now, I have a fucking legit reason not to. Never, ever support PETA. Ever. Unless you are a cruel, horrible, abysmal person. It seems clear that this is a truly decent man who hasn't the faintest idea what, or kind of, what kind of organization he has decided to leave his money to. Leave it to the ASPCA or leave it to someone else that actually treats animals with respect and dignity and basically treats these animals as if they were humans, you know, that needed help. Don't fucking support PETA. Okay, I, I can't stress this enough in this video. Don't. Never support PETA. Ever again. Even if they say, oh, I changed my ways. I have fucking changed. You know, we're not killing animals anymore. Don't trust them. Don't support them. Too little, too late, dumbasses.
You've already killed an innocent Chihuahua. You've already, you know, and basically have documents of killing animals just for whatever, you know, just for fun, pretty much. Just because you have this kind of power to protect <coughs> stray animals from whatever doesn't mean you should actually kill them. It doesn't mean you should abuse your power. You know, a wise man once said, with great power comes great responsibility. You know, and that's a, a really popular quote, I think, because of Spider-Man, but it's pretty fucking true. You know, you have all this power, you can protect animals and shit, but you have to be responsible. You shouldn't be doing this shit at all. But since you're doing it, you need to be put down. You need to fucking die. Your corporation needs to cease existence. It needs to stop. And, you know, because I was watching, on, or I, I was on Twitter. Uh, actually, I was looking up the dog show, the national dog show. Because uh, today is Thanksgiving, as it says right here. Thursday, November 28th. And I saw this. I saw someone post this. And I'm like, this can't be real. And I opened it up. Sure enough, it is real. It does exist. It's fucked up. That's all it is. Uh, the situation is not unusual. Most celebrities are kept in the dark regarding PETA's nature. Uh, uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, Mr. Sum is very ill and it's perhaps best to tweet your outrage to, to his foundation, whose, whose work PETA is busy undermining. And please le let PETA themselves know what you think. Oh, I, I'll tell you what the fuck I think. You are a goddamn sack of fucking shit. Your organization is horrible. You kill innocent animals just because. You are against people's ways of life. You know, and again, like I mentioned before, uh, with the whole meat thing, you know, that it's like, I think a part of the food pyramid or some shit. You're basically saying that we can't eat meat. We shouldn't be eating meat, and therefore we shouldn't have a fucking healthy, balanced diet. Okay, fine. I'll just drink chocolate milk from here on out. I'll fucking, if I want to eat some, I'll eat fucking Sour Patch Kids. Or Hot Pockets. Or both. Fucking Sour Patch Kid Hot Pockets. I don't care. I mean, seriously, if this is what you're going for, you're bullshit. You're fucking horrible. Pia, go kill yourselves. Okay, go fuck, go fuck, you go fucking euthanize yourselves. Before we have to do it for you. We will find some way to bring you down. Because what you're doing here is not right. Anybody that fucking agrees that what they're doing is right. Anybody that says that Peter's doing the right thing. You're a couple of slack jawed fucking idiots. You're a goddamn piece of god fucking shit sucking asshole bitching penis licking goddamn Satan loving bitch. Okay? That's all you are. And this is why. Peter is doing something that's incredibly wrong. And you people that support Peter are actually supporting this. When you shouldn't be. I can't change your mind. I can't make you change your mind. If you want to be a goddamn piece of fucking worthless sack of shit that, that, that loves the death of all animals, then whatever. You're just a piece of shit. But hopefully by seeing this article, some people will actually change their minds. And some people will actually just acknowledge the fact that this is happening. And like, oh, oh, oh Peter is doing this? Well, un, you know, unsubscribe from Peter on YouTube if they have a channel, they probably do. Oh, I should unfollow you know, Peter from all these social media platforms. Oh, I should send Peter a strongly worded email. I should tweet at them about what, what they're doing is wrong and a bunch of other things to try to take out their organization. That's what you should do. You should try to take out their organization because this is not right. I mean, they, they, they probably won't fucking change. The citizens unlucky enough to share their neighborhood with PETA headquarters have long been concerned that their group will target their pets. 
Not many of these people have the means to pursue a civil suit against PETA, but this is why we have criminal laws. It is absurd that a family's dogs and cats cannot be protected from the uh, depredations of this organization. And so, that's it. That's the fucking article. And this is just a cute chihuahua. It's sad that PETA has to fucking do something so goddamn worthless and fucking kill an innocent chihuahua. And the fact that, you know, the, the Mexican immigrant, uh, you know, the chihuahua was the only thing that cheered his daughter up because she was trying to adjust to this, this you know, this country. What the fuck, Peter? What the fuck? I mean, seriously. This is not right at all. Fuck you, Peter. I hope you fucking die. I hope your organization dies. And I fucking hope you rot in the fucking depths of hell. And if I have to go to hell just to beat the holy fuck out of you over and over and over and over and over, ho <laughs> ho, I will. And I will never, ever get tired of it. But that's it for this video, guys and gals. If you like this video, give this video a like. Uh, if not, that's fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below uh, to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro -huh. Boom. Once more with feeling, do not support PETA. And if you do, stop it. They are worthless. And they don't deserve any good things from you. Fuck PETA. Fuck them hard.